hey everyone welcome to my channel so today i'll go over the new second batch gt dual battery rave so in this video i'll show you the difference uh what i noticed from the first batch i had so i sold that bike and i got dual battery bike and I paid for this bike. It's not free bike. It's not sent to me for review. I just decided to make a video to answer some of the questions I see in the community, uh, Rave community. Also to show the difference, some upgrades and also um, go right now for the speed test to see if it still can reach the top speed and I'll go for the hill test as well and to see if there is any extra noises from the motor as some people complain about some extra noise from the motor uh, so I will go over and see and we'll go right together so let's get closer so right now it looks exactly the same just an extra battery you can see on the bottom and I like it uh, more actually because it's make it more like rougher looking like uh, with the extra battery so like more loaded but I noticed um, the difference also the painting so this uh, swing uh, rear swing like um, same uh, suspension as a first batch you might see in many reviews videos but not the many reviews video on the second batch so maybe it's uh, only the one um, you can see it's a uh, more like a uh, uh, matte color still black but made and I think uh, the previous one was like uh, shiny I'm not sure like which one is better I like actually the shiny and I like the made so it does not really make any difference as performance but I notice uh, it's get a little bit more dusty but looks cool both way so second I notice um, the brakes you can see the brakes become as rave now uh, branded and it's very soft also adjustment so you can adjust it how close you want to get to the handlebar so it's very soft and I test it out and we're gonna test it today as well uh, it breaks real good and I'm a little bit disappointed they don't make any noise anymore I like sometimes when they make noise when I'm running on the sidewalk so they're very quiet so far and you can see over here as well and they have uh, rave brakes like this on the rear and it's still 160 millimeter disc brakes so basically the stopping power should be about the same I think there shouldn't be much difference but they are not noisy and actually the first batch also got uh, was the first batch got noisy brakes but the rave sent me right away this pads to replace but I never replace it so it should remove the noise and here's how the front brake looks um, I don't think there will be any performance much difference versus to nuts brake the one came on the first batch uh, this should be about the same quality most likely but just a little bit different as this one have extra options to adjust as handlebar everything the same you got thumb throttle nice grips same size of the handlebar the same seat the pedals the same but I did uh, install like um, from Redshift and you can check link in description they're a little bit special with the light so the change uh, light depend like when you're biking uh, white light always on the front rear always on the back and they are smart lights so they activated when you start to ride it when you stop riding it they will turn off and it's removable so you can remove it charge it or use them uh, they're on the magnet they're selling a separate magnet where you can attach any way you want to so they're very cool and looking good at night and everything else the same the battery on the back, on the bottom uh, feels really solid not shaking same thing on the top over here so far everything looks the same and I saw some post with rusted uh, bolts mine is good the tail lights right over here so I don't know if motor should be the same motor same tires everything the same so let's go for it and also the display still require like also the speed change like require the same coding everything the same I guess as a uh, batch one so there's no changes um, first I'm gonna go for the speed test 
and then we'll go for climb test and I'll do some braking tests on the road like right now as well so now we're gonna do speed test as always I use the same road for speed test as previous video so I set it up to the level 3 and um, I use the throttle only because there's no point to use the pedals right now and see how fast we'll go and if I can hear any noise difference from the motor so it's about 20 miles right now on GPS 22, 24, 25 it's about 1000 peak power right now 1071 peak power and I'm going about 28 miles an hour yeah 28 on GPS was hit and so it still hit 28 miles maximum speed and let's see how fast with the pedaling because uh, with pedaling it should hit at least 28 as well probably um, uh, you don't have to pedal like crazy because I think after let's see when probably after 20 miles yeah about 23 miles an hour you're gonna get ghost pedal anyways so I'm on 24, 25 26 27 so it's hit 28 on display and 27 on GPS GPS doesn't have like um, it's only showing me a rounded up number so I guess it was close to 28 miles the same as uh, on throttle only and let's check it out the brakes and they change the brakes to rave branded and it's very nice very soft so let us accelerate right now and see how brakes will go it's still same bike feeling but it's a bit more heavy now so 26 miles an hour and then I'll break 27 so yeah I mean you can I could break it and it will stop but I just keep going because it's a lock in the rear wheel the front wheel works good so it's you can brake easily on this bike much better than any mechanical brakes and it's very soft you don't have to push like very hard that's a big difference also less maintenance and so far rave branded brakes are good on this bike you can adjust it as i said before and let's go to the hill test we'll go to the same hill i did before and see if it still can climb the hill so far um, i didn't hear any noise on motor like because when you're going on a higher speed you can hear the noise sometimes what the people say I don't remember on my GT if I have any noise is different usually when you're going faster it's just acceleration a little bit louder but not a lot so I, I, I couldn't hear any like difference much uh, like I didn't feel like anything wrong with this bike particular but again um, sometimes the bike can be defected so if you have like something going on with your bike and you're not sure if it's correct or not i recommend to contact support so they can detect troubleshoot and see if it's problem or not uh, the fork also let's see okay break the fork works good uh, it's very smooth right i notice uh, it's still the same pass acceleration still the same as uh, with single battery the one I had I remember this bike about 6 pounds heavy because the extra battery I still weight about the same as before about 215 pounds with uh, all my gear 215 with my gear so and the extra 6 pounds now but I don't think it will affect on the hill climbing hopefully it's not so people also ask about loop coming out right now i have more loop coming out but it's normal usually when new one you got more 
like lubrication coming out, the like grease from the fork. Later on, it will be slow down. But always, um, I can see like if I go off road or some dust build up, so I just wipe it out. And maybe you need to lubricate the fork. I think you need to do maintenance uh, every like 100 or 200 miles to check your brakes, uh, to check everything. So all the bolts, I highly recommend to check all the bolts, nuts on the bike. If you ride over like often, so every 100, 200 miles to make sure everything tightened on the bike is very uh, important. Let's see it's jump. And so far it's, uh, it's nice. So far I cannot say any difference. Um, I noticed, and I don't remember if the other model have the same or not. I feel like I'll be jerking when, like, um, uh, when I accelerate. It's going faster and slow down, faster and slow down. That's what I noticed, but I think it was the same. I think it was the same on another model, but it just, I think, yeah, I think it's the same, but I don't feel like any loss of power on this bike, as some people say. So, so far the bike performed pretty good, and I only rode on this bike, let's see, 12 miles and i charge the battery only once so i still have a lot of juice because i have two batteries and people ask can you use one battery while you're charging another one uh, yes you can i know you can use the main battery i'm not sure if you can use a small one and charge the large one while like i'm riding on the one i didn't try it but i understand you can um, right easily on the large one or 20 amp the one uh, the, the biggest one on top and charge the small one later and you don't really have to attach the small one if you are not really riding that much so it's kind of um, great for long distance if you worry to run out of uh, power you can always pedal it the pedaling only good up to 20 miles an hour after 20 miles an hour it will be like more like gas pedaling and can i pedal the bike yes is it comfortable it's not bad at all um, because i experienced to ride a mini bike like jetson ball pro and some other brands with a smaller uh, so it's kind of not big deal for me and i can ride all of them it's comfortable it's not maybe the best position because you um, your feet will go up a lot but still you can ride it easily it's uh, not bad actually and um, if you look on the super 73 it would be about the same um, the smaller one because they are about i think the same height about the same size most likely so the gtx should be larger faster and higher i'll accelerate nicely over here of landing actually it's not that noisy I always put slime or fat in your tires because uh, you might get flat I didn't put any slime on this bike yet but on GT ahead I put a slime never have to worry about getting flat um, some people are against of slime so you can put GT like flat out but it does work and the only problems I noticed like um, you may have if you have a road bike and it's very important with road bike to have it light because you, you have to pedal it all the time, no motor and so on. With uh, fat tire bikes and like this one, it's uh, they're heavy. So you don't really care if you add another like uh, two pounds, like actually it's a little bit less one pounds of slime in your tires it just brings them more weight 
and it uh, makes the wheel a little bit more unbalanced. But once you start to ride, everything should be fine. You will not see the difference. And we're almost there. All right, we're very close to the hill, and. Um, I tested many 1000 watt power bikes over here and 750 watt and 500 so all vary on the size of the wheels, power and torque controller so uh, Rave actually perform better than some of the 1000 watt peak uh, bikes so really impressed was uh, when I tested before I even tested with my son going almost full here over when but it's like was 275 pounds i think a lot so it couldn't make it all the way but it's still very impressive so now i'm gonna go to the test as always i just stop here and then use the throttle no pedals and keep going so i see 1100 1200 peak power 1235 so it's 60 miles an hour right now 32 power peak power so 10 miles an hour eight miles an hour i think last time it was with eight miles an hour based on gps so far it's eight miles eight it looks like seven i'm gonna actually pull out the video and compare the speed see like put them on the bottom maybe to see what the speed was actually eight to seven so it's a, i would say eight miles an hour because it jumped and now it's seven and a half because there's no really only like rounds up so it make 7.8 miles based on the display but let's say seven and a half miles pretty fast for 750 motor if you compare like same bike i did like just recently uh, i did 500 from Sinada bikes it was like four or five miles an hour i did 1000 watt peak about six miles an hour oh no it was not peak it was 1000 watt motor with over 13 or 1500 peak power so this bike actually perform as good as 1000 watt motor and now we're going downhill and check the brakes as well uh, usually it works good but again i don't want to burn out the uh, tires and go about 929 and i'll stop over here yeah it's uh, about 20 meters the speed was uh, about 29.5 miles an hour I'm gonna go for a little bit more ride to test it out. So to go over some uh, people questions like uh, if the water makes some noises, I personally don't hear anything wrong with my motor. The brakes not screwing at all. The only problem is I got now, but. The controller is not overheating so far. Usually if there's problems, right now it's about 85 to 90 degree outside. Uh, the controller would overheat most likely by riding on these hills. And I noticed uh, also GT model, the more I start to ride, the better performance was. So that's maybe the, something I need to do when I go off-road over here. So maybe I need to ride more this bike to get better performance as well. Because uh, the more I rode a GT with my son and daughter, it was much faster eventually. So we're gonna go probably here. It's a nice area. I did already video with GT, 100 miles. When I reach 100 miles, I came over here. So there's not much difference like in the bicycle other than uh, battery. You get extra battery with this bike. 
and also you get the branded brakes the painting can be different that's about it but very nice bike and i guess that's all for today thank you guys for watching subscribe so you will see the video about the gtx probably it will be in october so there might be some other channel will post it before me i'm not the largest channel on youtube that's why i probably will get the bike later on and uh, this was not paid review the bike i bought it by myself and if you're interested to get extra discount i do have 100 dollars off and if you use the link in the description and my code i will do get some commission of this sale thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video